In today's video, I'm sharing with you six things an elegant woman never wears when she's traveling. Hi everyone, I'm Gemma. Welcome to my channel. Now, an elegant woman knows what to wear for every occasion, and that includes traveling to an airport and flying on a plane. There's quite a lot to consider when you're deciding what to wear when you're flying. You've got to get through security. There's always lots of walking to do. You've got varying temperatures, and then you're going to be sitting in one place for a long time. An elegant woman knows exactly what to wear, but she also knows what not to wear. An elegant woman will not wear flip-flops when she's traveling or flying on a plane for a few reasons. Firstly, for safety, airports are usually full of hustle and bustle with people everywhere, trolleys and large cases all around you. In flip-flops, your feet are at risk of being hit or trodden on or even crushed at various points in the journey. And there's another safety reason to avoid flip-flops is if you had to leave the plane for an emergency. Flip-flops just wouldn't be practical going down the emergency slides or if you had to stand at the side of the runway for a long time. Thinking ahead, she knows she's going to have to take them off going through security. And that means walking through barefoot, which will be absolutely filthy from all the previous footfall. Flip-flops can be quite unsanitary if you do need to use the toilet while you're on the plane. There's always something on the floor which could very easily splash up onto your feet. An elegant woman knows that flip-flops are just not suitable for every occasion. They do have their time and their place, the beach, the pool, in the shower, but not on the plane. Perfume or fragrance is a very personal thing. You may absolutely love the scent that you're wearing, but that doesn't necessarily mean everybody else will. An elegant woman won't wear a strong fragrance on a plane out of respect for those around her. Many people can get headaches and asthma even from very strong scents. It makes me sneeze constantly, which in itself I know can be very annoying for other people. An elegant lady will leave the perfume until she arrives at her destination. There's no rules, I don't think, that say you can't wear shorts on the plane, but they're not the comfiest things to travel in. They constantly ride up and bunch up around the folds of your legs, and you're always having to pull them down. A comfortable alternative to shorts are leggings. Not everybody's favorite, I know, and some would not put leggings and elegance in the same sentence, but layered with a long cardigan and a loose fitting t-shirt and loafers, it makes a lovely outfit to travel in and it still looks smart and is comfortable. Planes are dirty and the seats really can be quite filthy, even though it's not visible to the eye. So you really don't know what you're sitting on. Another reason a well-dressed woman won't wear shorts on the plane is because planes can be so cold and your legs will be absolutely freezing. If leggings aren't your thing, then you could choose a loose fitting pair of trousers, not necessarily in white, but you could wear them in a really similar way to the leggings. It works just as well and still looks relaxed but stylish. An uncomfortable bra is awful at the best of times, but when you're traveling or flying, it can be the most uncomfortable thing ever. If it digs into your shoulders or your chest before the flight, it will only become more uncomfortable in the air. Something an elegant woman won't wear when she's traveling for herself, but also out of respect for others, is revealing or skimpy clothing. Quite often you've got to reach up above to the overhead lockers or you're bending over getting something out of your bag. It's tricky at the best of time, let alone if you've got clothing that reveals everything. Low cut tops or tops that droop down when you bend over are something she'd avoid, as are shorter tops that ride up when you have to reach up to the overhead storage. Short skirts or short dresses are also not good to wear on a plane as you just can't bend over without flashing the person behind. There's been quite a few stories recently online and they do seem to be getting more and more frequent. And I'm sure everyone's got their own personal opinion on this, but I feel a classy, elegant woman will cover up on a plane and she'll have some consideration for the people around her. I'm sure you've heard the saying, if you want a first class upgrade, you've got a dress to impress. And that does mean ditching the sweats. Sweatpants are something that lots of us have been living in throughout the pandemic and lockdown. And they're perfectly acceptable to wear at home and around the house, but an elegant woman wouldn't travel in them. 
what she'd do if she was going on a long haul flight is she'd take a pair with her in her carry on luggage and then she could change into them so that she could relax on the plane. Sweatpants are comfortable and they're not restrictive and they're certainly not revealing and to wear on a dirty plane you could say they're the perfect thing to wear but to travel in to the airport in my opinion I think they're just a little bit too scruffy. What are your thoughts on wearing sweatpants to travel to the airport in? Let me know in the comments box below. Bye for now.